Hello dudes and babes, DT here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Boom Beach video. Today we're taking a look at some amazing solos old Zuka task force operation attacks. And I'm going to show them to you in the entirety. And first I will show you the base, the way it was. So let's start with Kevin who took down Axiom. And this is what the base looks like from the very beginning. Nobody else attacked. He did it all on his own using nothing but the powerful Lady Zukas. And check this out. There is a grappler and there is also a hot pot on this base. So double trouble, but yet he ends up being able to take down the entire base without ever coming in contact with either grappler or the hotbot. So let's see how he does that. So he drops all of his Zugas on a right hand side and lets them take a few pows at the mini power cell so that it kind of helps them group them better for when he wants to smoke them all the way up and above the power core. Then he carefully starts to smoke screening them all the way up and above. And look at that guys, the hot pot is surrounded by flamethrowers so it is an ultimate frying machine down there. So he puts his ladies up over there in the corner and a lot is happening on the left hand side. There are all the rocket launchers, there are sh there's a shock launcher and cluster of boom cannons. So he just uses one box of critters and the shocks to take down the entire power core all alone using the power of the Zookas. Completely amazing, unbelievable strategy and beautiful, beautiful execution. I do hope that one day I'll be able to do the same. So that was an amazing attack. Five stars all day long. So let's go ahead and jump in into a second attack. And I'm gonna show you a total of four. So second one is by Matt Hunter and he is taking down Dredge. So let's go ahead and zoom out, take a look at what's happening on the Dredge. So uh, Matt Hunter is actually going to take a long way instead of going straight from the left flank because a lot is happening there. There's a shock blaster, a uh, shock launcher, a lot of, uh, you know, um, a lot of sniper towers. So he drops his Zookas on the right hand side, lets them farm for a little bit and then has them take a detour and the scenic crowd, except there is not much to see on the right hand side. So uh, he has them reflare and then he reflares them once more to where there are a ton of the little mini plasma cells. And once the ladies get there, he lets them farm for a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, little Zuka's taking a little detour. They basically just, you know, they're, they're taking a road trip, uh, except by feet, right? <laughs> okay, so Zuka's are going to farm here just for a second, and then he's going to reflare them, and he's going to do a really fantastic job managing the time and the GBE, because when I was watching this, obviously I already knew that he soloed it, but I was like, wow, that was so, so super close. So a few of his Zookas will get hit up by the uh, shock launchers here. And then look at that. He puts them right into the corner and then he double overlays the smoke screen so that Zookas can be, you know, protected and um, they can group up. And from there on, he uses the shock and of course the safety of the critters to have the Zookas finish up the job. But ultimately he kind of, you know, warmed them up a little bit, had them take a scenic route and then they finished off the base and look at all of the sniper towers there. I honestly was kind of nervous. I think if it was me playing, I probably would be biting my nails because all of the uh, boom cannons and mortars and shock launchers, the vicinity of Zookas is just filled up with the defenses. Nothing there was taken out. And then he beautifully finishes off the job and celebrates the victory. So that was a very beautiful execution, wonderful strategy. And let's jump in into a third base here and take a look at how once again, Zookas brought home the victory. Okay, so the third base is going to be done by Carl and Carl is going to finish off the Conifold here. So the base is kind of quite, quite busy. Let's take a look at it really, really quickly. A bunch of rocket launchers, a bunch of defenses. He groups all of his Zookas over on the right-hand side and lets them farm for just a little bit then uh, deploys the rest of his Zookas. And I'm assuming that's just a much easier way to then uh, group your Zookas all at once and then start smoke screening them because it allows you to have more control over their movement so they don't separate into multiple lanes and then uh, kind of go uh, and become a little bit less 
uh, or more difficult to control rather. So really nice overlay over here, assuming uh, you know no risk here, beautiful overlay, and then smoking the ladies and using the critters. And Zookas do suffer just a little bit of a kickback from the shock mines when he activates them with the critters, but it's not a big deal. Everything works out and then he uses critters once again to his advantage because there's a lot happening with the cannons and the boom cannons right by the power core. So he kind of uses the critters as a distraction and also of course the shocks so that he shocks the defenses and then concentrates on the power core. And once again, Zookas take it all down and bring home 201 victory points. Um, so that was really, really beautiful. He reflares them once more. So they're away from the um, range of the uh, sniper towers over on the right hand side because sniper towers do have a really, really great range. And just like that, Carl brings home the victory and let's watch that happen. And let's watch these little Zookas uh, taking down the power core all alone. Nothing is in their way. They're just pound it down, guys. This is going to go down really, really quickly. So uh, once again, every single attack is a Zooka attack, and that goes to show you how powerful of a troop it is. If you want to solo a base, then uh, you know just use these strategies, and uh, Zookas are definitely capable of taking it all down. I think that of all the troops, uh, if you want to solo a task force base, I think Zookas are probably number one most popular, most used, and most successful troops. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our final replay here. And this one here is by Tennis, and he is going to destroy Quay by himself. This base does not have any new prototypes. There is not a grappler, not a hot pot, just the good old, you know, laser beam sitting over in the right hand side corner. And uh, Tennis kind of sacrifices a few of his Zookas over here instead of um, smoking them or instead of shocking the uh, uh, the the sniper tower, he just allows the sniper tower to take down a few of the Zookas. And this takedown here, guys, is really quite interesting. I think Tennis was just getting really, really bored and was trying to have loads of fun uh, by himself with, with his Boom Beach ladies. So what happens here is that he essentially doesn't really use smoke screens and he ends up using a ton of... Uh, a uh, ton of critters and at the end I question that decision I must say but at the end you will see what he does with the Zookas. The decision was very very quite risky but if it didn't work out for tennis another person could have just GBE'd and finished off the base. Now of course it works out but you will see what I'm talking about in just one second exactly. So he then flares his ladies and puts them where he wants them to be for the final takedown. That is the only uh, smoke screen that sees using in the entire attack. And we're already like a minute and a half into watching this replay. So then he takes down a bunch of the defenses uh, and then uh, the rocket launcher becomes within the range of the Zookas. A few of them get hit up, second smoke screen, and then he pows his ladies and flares them at the power core. Now, just so you guys know, at the end, and I was like, what in the world, Tennis? But of course, it works out for him. So he's going to barrage and GBE his own Zookas and then finish off the base with one artillery shot. So I hope you enjoyed this craziness and this awesome video where I showed you a bunch of uh, solo attacks on task force bases with all Zookas. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Later.